Okay guys, last time we um we're going to find out if who why why Grossberg didn't defend May FA. I think I have a right to know. Alright, oh, Mr. Wright? No, no, I'm sorry. It's just I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. So, I paid Blue Cop a visit. Oh? Oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh? What is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... Mr. Grossberg, sir, there was a giant painting hanging right there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office at Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. It is a large painting. Mr. Ghostberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected you say? Yes, and I know what it is. Yeah, <laughs> your lovers. <laughs> no, they're not gay. Uh, I think he's blackmailing him. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail? <gasps> I think that painting is fairly gaudy proof. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were me as understudy. Perhaps it was fate? What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes a living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. 15 years? All because of the DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name of the back of these photographs. As you suspected, I could not stand in defense of Mayor because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It is hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Red White on the night will be Im on the night on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He, o he owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves, and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. What is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing more than the sorting curve where the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Fay. Fay! Indeed. She was Mia's mother. She had been investigating the murder at the bequest of the police. And... She failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Mayer was talking about the other day. All I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident. But why were you blackmailed over this, Grossberg? The DL6 incident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let the people know. But one person found out. I... I told him. You told White? He offered me riches. It is an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked. The police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for one for the one who sold them out. Of course White heard about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit. Yet if you would still challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She follows every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Oh, <gasps> good idea. I wonder if he had any. I wonder if White had anything on Mia as well. It's funny. Looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have had another look. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? Um. Okay, let's first look for white. So, let's go on that one. T, U, I know, W, white. Huh? 
The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? That's kind of strange. What the case is the chief of what one of our there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, the DL6 incident. Let's see if there's an A record in this file that map that catches my eye. A B F. Misty Fay. That's me and Mayor's mother. Hmm. Should I take a look? Ah, oh, what the hell? I have tarnished the Fay name, leaving only these words: "My mother vanished." I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the ESP that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was a man who sold that information to the press. This parasite, who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm, the record stops there. So, me and you, Grossberg. Hmm, weird. Okay, let's look in the middle one now. Let's see. J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this? Yeah, why not? <sighs> well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part's here, at the end of S. Suicide? Ew. She has a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. <gasps> There's writing on most of these in pencil. White? This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. Hmm. Let's find the most disturbing one. There we go. That's exactly the evidence I need. Let's have a look at it. Article about a politician suicide. The word white is... White is written in pen at the top. It just said it was written in pencil. Oh well. I don't really care. Okay, let's go rub this in his face. Well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the method has not yet penetrated through your thick skull. Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Transparent? What? Anyways, let's go um, show him this. This is the only clue that Mia left me. I'd better make this one count. Mr. White, see this? It's an article describing the suicide of a politician. He was embezzling, embezzling secret government funds. Then, one day, word got leaked to the press. The very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labelled with a single word. White. <gasps> Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You are blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him either. You are threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You are involved in all the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation, Mr. Wrong. What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Secretary's office, hello? Mr. Wong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What should I be doing now is going after you. So what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be... Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Beep. Secretary's office. You won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White, is that you? Oh, sorry. White, is that you? What are you doing making call... doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fay case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude. Told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. 
He looks dazed and could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. White, this isn't another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police, now. Beep. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss May. Mia. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is going as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make even you look competent. I... I feel faint. Detective Gumshoe, reporting, sir. Ah, Butts, Harry Butts. Right, actually, Phoenix Wright, and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right, sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? G Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Frey. W what? Take this despicable human being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Jeez, what an idiot. September 8, 3.37 p.m. Detention Center. Visitor's Room. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. White's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was assigned to be in my state yesterday. I refused. I had an idea. Right! Mr. Wright! Oh, Mayor. Great! He let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. Ha. Huh. Now I'm afraid we've switched places. What? You mean, you... I explained what happened to Mayor. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother. My sister. And now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Oh no, I'm not break out here. I'm going to be defending myself, so it's the process of elimination. Well, you could cheer me, cheer for me in court. Cheer for you? You mean like a cheerleader? Huh? Um, yeah, like that. All right, leave it to me. Huh? I better go get a uniform and some pom poms. Wait, 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 wait. What? 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 I'm kidding. It's just a joke. No way. No, really, I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit there and do nothing. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay. Then, come to the court tomorrow. Uh, okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. It's the beginning of a new century, yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on initial court trials. Almost all finish in a day, most with a guilty verdict. I never thought I would end up in a defendant's chair myself. Tomorrow the true culprit will appear as a witness. This is it. It's me or him. To be continued. Well guys, I guess that wraps it up for today's part of Let's Play a Spot of Phoenix Wright. But don't worry, because next part on Let's Play a Spot of Phoenix Wright, we're going to be in court. And we're going to show Red White a thing or two. See you there, guys.